bugs. There's not a lot of insects that get on my grapes. There's an old caterpillar called a grape leaf skeletonizer. It's a cute little bug. It's got yellow and black stripes. It's cute as can be. You just want to pick them up, play with them, put them back on the grapes. But they scrape all the foliage off of your, off your grapes. They come in midsummer. That's the only real bug I've had other than birds can come in every once in a while. I eat a few, few, a few grapes. That's okay. Um, I do spray this stuff for elk, um, for leaf skeletonizers of all types. This is an organic. It's called Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. Captain Jack's, yeah. Yeah, I made it. Okay, so anyway. Captain Jack's, we don't want you to forget the name. It's a great organic fertilizer. I think you can spray it up to just a couple days prior to harvest. So read the directions, but it really wipes out thrip. All, it wipes out everything except for aphids. I wish it would take out aphids. So I'm trying to figure out how to mix a, a, a neem oil with this so I get a knockdown, but I can't find a manufacturer that will make it for me. I'm such a small player. They just don't, I talk to them, they go, he's so cute. One store in the middle of Arizona. No, we're not doing that for you. But I know what will really work to knock them out. Eventually we'll get that. But right now this does everything but, but aphids quite effectively. And so, especially on edibles, because you want to keep that organic. If you can, you don't want to spray a bunch of chemicals on the apples and pears and peaches and blackberries and stuff. Um, other than that, I use Home Harvest. This is neem oil, N-E-E-M, you organic gardeners. Neem is a fancy organic. It, this does wipe out aphids. This is my first line defense for everything, uh, especially for little, my container gardens especially. I'll just spritz that around. You can spray this up to the day of harvest and it's still organic. So quite, quite effective. It even works on powdery mildew if you can catch it early. That white uh, coating that gets on the foliage, it works quite, quite well on that. Okay, so roses, that kind of stuff. With that, that's my talk today. That's all I got for you. Questions? Yes. On the grapes, what's that white slimy stuff that comes in? The Ooh, summer? that's a that's a spittle bug. Oh. Spittle spittle bug. Um, it's a little tiny insect, a little gray, um, kind of tan colored insect underneath that goo, that loogie that's sitting there on top of the the, the, the surface. There's a bug, and he he does that. He oozes to keep the birds and other predator uh, insects off of them. The neem oil wipes them right out. Okay. Um, the Captain Jacks, I'm not sure to look on that, but I think it would, I don't know. I, usually I'll use neem on that because they will have these little tiny pussy white things on the ground. I'll just go through and spot treat them as I see them. Yes? Yeah, your blackberries, do you have to be careful with the mulch touching the cane too or just the soil? I, I am careful with that. I generally don't think, I don't let dirt and stuff gather up against. Now my bramble patches are so big anymore. I'm less careful with it because they're just so established. They're starting to send up canes every place. You kind of go, ah, eh, they're, they're fine. So, but generally I'll try, even on my fruit trees, I try to not let them, I'll just have a little ring around here, but I'll put it around this. I have nice little mulchy, cedary looking mounds. Okay, yeah. Okay, so good question. Is the potting soil good enough for blueberries to keep the soil, the acidity down, keep, keep it more acidic? It should be enough, yeah. What I, I don't use sulfur in my container gardens. I love sulfur. I use it on everything in the spring. So I've already, in the month of March, I go spread this on everything in the yard, the lawn, the thyme lawn, the fruit tree, everything. And then I'll also put soil sulfur on everything in the yard in the spring, in the month of March. So I've already done that. In fact, the rains, I know, uh, I took an Instagram photo of my clematis that opened up with the rains. Because all that food I put down became activated uh, when, when the rains came, and just a huge purple flower. And so it, it activated. I don't use sulfur in my containers because I'm a gardener. I'm also an American. You know, more is better, bigger, more, ah. And we're generous. We tend to go a little more often than we should. And I've killed some things in my containers because I put too much sulfur. I made it too acidic. I find in my container gardens, this is acidic enough. And I do put 2.5% sulfur in this already. So I, I only use this in my container gardens for my raspberries, just for flowers, whatever. I only use this. Okay. Good question. Any last questions that we'll release? If we didn't get to your questions, I'll just hang out. 
And I'll, and I'll finally end up over next to the grape section. I'll just go hang out there and help folks.